Llama models have now existed for three years. And fine-tuning these is well understood. But there's so many ideas and best practices which you can follow once you start customizing these. Now, whether you're just starting out with large language models or looking to optimize your current existing workflows, this session will cover tips, tricks, and actionable insights for you to start applying Llama in real-world scenarios. I'm Sayyam Bhutani, partner engineer working on Llama models. Uh, my work focuses on helping partners get the most out of Llama models, right from the very first experiment to large-scale deployments. And for those that know when I'm not fine-tuning these models, I'm probably fine-tuning my chai recipe. I promise to keep it more hands-on and useful for your time. We learn about the most common questions you'll encounter after your first few experiments. And then I'll walk through how to tackle each of them one by one. Finally, I'll connect it all together and share how different research papers from the industry back these ideas. Fine-tuning Llama models is straightforward. We provide a lot of resources from day one, making it very simple to get started on our partner platforms. But after you run your first few experiments, you might quickly run into a few open-ended questions. And here's the feedback we've heard from you. While fine-tuning these models is easy, most of the effort goes into data preparation. And it's relatively not clear what the best practices are there. We don't have a streamlined interface, sometimes as well for applying these best practices. The overarching questions we hear are, what if I don't have any examples to customize my model with? How many examples do I actually need? What model do I start with? And I think we have a very large model family, which makes it harder to know what model size to start with. And once you've picked a model, how do you squeeze maximum model performance? Now, while there's many approaches and ideas you can tackle, one thing is clear. At the heart of this problem, is post-training data sets. That's why we created an open-sourced synthetic data kit that makes it very easy to generate high-quality data sets for post-training. The goal is to simplify your customization journey with an open-source package. Now, let's start addressing these questions one by one. What if I don't have any data sets to start with? Well. Most of the times, you don't lack data sets. You lack question answer peers. Many enterprises have their knowledge scattered across documents. How do we bring these back into a fine-tuning format? So on the screen, you can see here, we let you parse in multiple files using the ingest command. I've just pointed the kit to a folder containing multiple of these files. And what's going to happen now is it will extract the text from these. In fact, you can even add a multimodal flag to extract the knowledge from charts and images. Behind the scenes, this is going to parse all of this information and store it as a text file. Once you have this, you can see we have a folder with all the knowledge. At this stage, you want to create the QA pairs. So we simply call the create command. Now, as I promised, this is all customizable. So here you can see me running the commands help, which will show you the different options to create QA pairs based on the text. If you want to customize it, you can also go ahead and edit the prompts to match your need. For example, if you want to improve summary writing using Llama, with the same command, you can easily pass a flag and use a custom prompt to guide the output. All right. The next big question is, how many examples do I really need to get great results? If you look at the Lima paper, it claims even 1,000 examples can deliver strong performance with the LLM. This suggests that we should probably focus more on curating the data sets while creating them. So of course, we offer a simple curate command where you can use Llama as a judge. And here you can see we're setting a prompt and a threshold to filter out low-quality examples and save them. 
The next question in our journey is how do we extract maximum performance from a model? Distill step by step is a very popular paper which taught us that we can use a larger model to distill chain of thought reasoning into a smaller model. This gives the model stronger performance in a specific domain. To do this, we can just use the CRT enhance command where you can use Llama to generate and add chain of thought to existing QA pairs. This allows us to use a larger Llama model and then we can distill the knowledge to a smaller one. Finally, once you're happy with the QA pairs, you can save all of these outputs with the save as command to any format. And in this case, you can see we're saving it to the JSON format. We give you the flexibility for integrating these data sets into any workflow. So that was a lot of information. Let's take a moment to look at a flowchart and recap all of the ideas we got here. Now, the papers we referenced in this talk are visible on the flowchart. And these are ideas that we have implemented. Please check out the papers if you want a deeper dive. But the first question we looked at was, how do you get labeled data? Well, use existing documents and convert them into QA pairs. The second one is, how many examples do you really need? Start small. Even 1,000 examples can be really effective. Use Llama as a judge to evaluate quality. Finally, what if you need stronger performance or stronger reasoning? Distill reasoning from a larger model. Once you've run a few experiments, here's some general tips that we've learned that work really well. Start with the smallest model first. Start simple. Establish your baseline so you know how to iterate you have a good baseline you're working with. And it's always a good idea to overfit on a very small subset to make sure your framework is working and your models are actually learning. Trust me, you want to nail that part down. And gradually scale your data sets with experiments. Now, finally, treat this as an art. There's no single answer. So please remember to have fun, keep an open mind, and this open mindset with every specific use case is the key. Thank you so much for joining today's session. Please check out Synthetic Data Kit and all of these resources, we have made them available in the repository. I also highly recommend you to check out Llama Cookbook for end-to-end -end examples on building with Llama models. You can access all of this knowledge via the QR code on your screen. Most importantly, Fine tuning is really an art, as I said. So please remember to drink chai and make sure you have fun.